Good morning! So, in a bit of a behind the scenes kind of action here, we've got Waylon, who was doing the editing for your video. Um, and I thought I'd show you our breakfast. Waylon has an egg. He's certain that it's cooked, but mm. I'm not sure. Got some cabbage salad, which I know seems weird, but it's really yum. Got like a breakfast sandwich. Well, not really breakfast, but a sandwich. And some yogurt with fruit in it. So let's see what this is like. Breakfast in bed, not bad. Hello. So uh, we're at Yokohama and we've decided to come to uh, the Nissan Gallery. So apparently this is Nissan's global headquarters and that's code words for having truckloads of Nissan cars. And so one of the cars I wanted to show you was this. Which I think is just literally amazing. It is uh, a Nismo car, but it's a Nissan Leaf. So this is a fully electric racing car, which is, and, and, and that's, in my mind, pretty amazing. The thing that's more funny is Nissan's new mobility concept car, which is this. And uh, brings me no end of joy. So apparently you, uh, you sit, sit in there, in this tiny, tiny car. Um, so, I don't know if you can see that I'm about five foot four and I'm quite a bit taller than that car. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that Nissan believes that um, zero emission cars and electric cars are the way of the future. There is um, basically a zero emission car that you can use for camping. And over here is another zero emission car and they're saying you can use it as a mobile cafe. So whether you want to run your cafe anywhere, or you want to go for a camp, or you want to race one of the fastest cars in the world, or you want to look foolish, uh, Nissan's electric vehicles have got you covered. So one of the places where I wanted to visit is Yokohama, which is basically like a 10 minute Shinkansen trip away from Tokyo. Um, so we're here, we've been walking for a bit, because the place he wants to go is the Cup Noodle Museum. I'll let you know what it's like once we've finally got there and been there. How's it going? Good, good. Huh? Have you seen the Ferris wheel? Huh? We are not going on that. Yes, of course. Anyways, we're going to go to the Cup Noodle Museum, a whole museum dedicated to cup noodles. So we're going to make our own cup noodles. First you need to buy basically a blank cup. So Catherine's bought herself a blank cup. You want to get your own? Uh, and yes, hopefully Catherine will... Okay. The next step after getting the cup is we have to go colour it. So, once you've purchased your black factory cup, you have to basically wash your hands and then you get to decorate your cup. So you get a whole bunch of markers and you can draw sort of pictures on it. The, uh, that is the slogan of the cup noodles, which is basically this chicken. So I'm going to try and draw the chicken on there. Uh, are you having fun, Mrs. Penny? No, the markers are too big. So I finished colouring in. So this is my front. This is my back. It says cup noodle. And this is the side, and that's a picture of the, uh, the bird, which is supposed to look like that. What did you say on yours? Cup oh, this noodles. is cup noodle. <laughs> This is mine, it's pretty bad, the pen's gonna suck. So I just did like some some pretty cool work on that and then on the back I put macho ishi. But I don't know if that actually is delicious, it might be false advertising.
。はい、中から、台湾綺麗に入ります。はい、どうぞ。Look, it pushes it into the cup. ありがとうございます。1958. Here's the main popular ones when the, they were first put into cups, and then they sort of did heaps more, like a lot more cup noodles. As you can see, they really couldn't kind of took off here in terms of different flavors.、Uh, this one, cheese curry. Seafood. I put bits of cheese in my cup noodle, so let's see if that's going to be successful.、Um, and then all the way through to like now, it is literally a hundred million different flavors of cup noodles, including all of these ones here. So that's pretty cool. I always find it weird when Catherine doesn't like a place.、Uh, so let's get Catherine's candid comments on Yokohama. Yokohama, like. Doesn't make sense to me. Why? Well, there's a couple of really cool things here, but it's really difficult to get around unless you have a car. So I'm not loving it. The government of Yokohama asked us to do a little survey to see whether what bits of Yokohama we liked. I said the Noodle Museum because that was really cool, and Catherine lied. <laughs> yeah, I did. I had to lie because she was so like. What is your favorite thing about my city? I work for the city. I couldn't be like I hate it. That'd be rude.、Um, so now we're on our way to Shin Osaka or New Osaka Station, back to the Shinkansen. Here's a boat that's sitting there, and here is.、Uh, there were some people drawing the boat back there. And here is one of Japan's tallest buildings, the appropriately named Landmark Tower. Well, goodbye, Yokohama. Hello down there. So we have decided to come to、uh, ramen, the Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum, which is kind of different from the Cup Noodle Museum we went to. Basically, we're in the German part, and you buy these, which are coupons. So we're going to get two bowls of ramen, and because Catherine doesn't really like pork, we're going to get、um, some currywurst sausage, which might be made of pork. I'm not sure. Anyways, and then after that, we're gonna have a wee bit of a walk around. So when the food comes out, we'll check it out. 
So here I am, going to try and move some of the noodles. Mmm. Oh my. So Waylon's over here really enjoying his meal. So that's how far down in his bowl he is. And that's where I am. And I had two bits of the curry worth. And I'm done. Not because I'm not so hungry, but um because I didn't like the flavour. <laughs> like at all. I tried my best gave it a go but it's just not for me it's just really um the noodles are really salty and there was an egg in it which i was really excited about but it was brown slash gray and just was had a weird texture and taste um yeah and the curry was i just i'm not gonna love germany if that's what this is about um but yeah that's my food review with Catherine kenning i really loved it so the ramen museum has been designed to look like a 1950s uh, ramen alley. We're just inside the German ramen place that Catherine loved so much. Uh, there's a French one which doesn't seem very uh, Japanese at all. And basically a couple of other ramen places. Not that you can see it because it's all super blurry. So, I always start everything with a so. I know. Isn't that annoying? So annoying. We are now walking back towards uh, Shin Yokohama Station. Really haven't enjoyed Yokohama so much. I tried. Honestly, I tried. It's just not for me. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, when you're online and you're Googling things about what to see and do, thought that the ramen museum in Shin Yokohama would be pretty cool but actually you have to pay 300 yen so there's three dollars just to get in yeah and there's not really a lot to do apart from eat the food there which is expensive too yeah so it's nine dollars a bowl so we just spent twelve dollars a bowl per up for ramen and I mean I liked mine but I wouldn't say like twelve dollar liked it I thought no, ramen because... was supposed to be cheap because the other day we, you got that whole, you got a big beer, ramen, and gyoza for the same price. Mm. All right. We got ripped up. That's it. Chin Yokohama, we're, we're through. Yeah. So we've arrived in Osaka. In Shin Osaka, to be precise. Um, and I thought I would treat ourselves to a taxi ride. Um, and our taxi driver doesn't have any idea where we're staying. Anything you'd like to add? No. You're right. Yeah. I think it's hilarious. What do you think? Same. You don't look like you think it's hilarious. I'll laugh when we're at our hotel. Out loud? Yeah. Will you roll on the floor with laughter? No, I won't rough though. Will you pee yourself because it's so funny? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, at least you're laughing. <laughs> so we just made it to our hotel. The outside of the room stinks of smoke. We'll let Waylon do the room reveal tonight. It's a proper key this time. Of course we're staying in an undisclosed location. Okay. Don't know how to turn on the light. What do you think, doll? Um, I think we said better for cheaper. Here's the bed. There's a nice double bed, so that's good. TV. You gonna do a bed test? Jump on it. Don't pop your cup noodle though. Yeah. Well, it didn't break your back. Let's see the toilet. It's not looking promising, considering that's all the space. Yeah. Okay. This takes me back to our honeymoon. And we paid like 90 bucks a night for it. So it's pretty expensive. So my tip for you there, Osaka, expensive. Last minute Osaka, quite
quite expensive. <laughs> I, I actually thought this was the rec I thought this was a recorded video. I didn't realize it's a guy over there sort of singing and dancing. So I'm with Catherine in Yoroboshi camera as we look for some headphones for her. Uh, the real problem is actually how many headphones there are. So you and I, let's do a wee tour. So here's headphone aisle one. Uh, more headphones down there. And then more headphones down there. And here are some headphones. But then don't forget there are headphones down there. And then there's some headphones down there. But then there are also some headphones down here. And then there are more headphones over there. So that's quite a lot of headphones. But don't forget the headphones down here as well.